Hey everybody, today we're going to be talking about the X-H2S autofocus issues. That's right, we're going to come out of the shadows into the light and reveal the truth. When this camera came out, it was a masterpiece. It was the reason I sold my Canon gear and went all in on Fuji. Switched from the best full frame camera that Canon has to offer. Why I switched from Canon to this, the Fuji to Fuji. The X-H2S was great was great. Here's the thing, with each firmware upgrade, did the autofocus get worse? We're gonna dive into that. I'm gonna give you a full chronology, what has happened and what you should know about the autofocus performance on the Fujifilm X-H2S. Let's get into it. All right, back to the glory days when the X-H2S first came out. When this camera came out, I was so impressed. I actually sold my Canon R5 and switched to this for all my professional use for photo and video. It was great. The hit rates on high burst photos was great. The eye tracking was great. Everything was perfect. It was like Fuji had caught up to Sony and caught up to Canon. Okay, if you watch my old videos, you'll see I'll say 95% of what Canon was producing with autofocus. Uh, now Fuji competes, and if I can get 90, 95% of the shots I would with the Canon, I prefer Fuji. However, the next firmware, the performance went down, and here's the thing. Am I right? Am I wrong? Am I crazy? When you're by yourself and you're saying, is this camera losing performance? You don't know. But when you start to see other people online complain about the same thing, then you know that you're onto something. It was not eye tracking, it was more like eye guessing. And that's super frustrating, especially when, like right now, my camera will often jump to the background. I don't know if you saw that in one of my recent videos. I'm in a studio, nothing's moving, and it decided to full focus on the background. So as the firmware upgrade started, the performance started dropping. Now with firmware 5.10, there was rumors that the performance was even worse. Now, I couldn't find anything substantially uh, demonstrable in my own camera and shooting experience to, um, to prove this, but the complaints were there and people were still talking. So number one, this is either a real problem, and if it is a real problem, then Fuji needs to know. And if it's not a real problem and people are saying it's a real problem, then Fuji needs to know. There has to be some sort of communication to consumers about what is the fix or what are they doing wrong in their settings, but to leave this unaddressed is not acceptable. All right, now with firmware six, here's where we get hand detection instead of eye detection. If your hand's in the frame, it's gonna focus on that. Chins instead of eyes. And don't even mention the little autofocus box in photo mode, it's problematic. Now when we switch into video mode, same problems persist. So the, the performance went down and here's the thing, people were complaining and Fuji, its whole goal is to produce world-class cameras. Fuji needed to address this. But wait, there's more, Firmware 7. All right, Firmware 7, June 2024, back to the glory days of autofocus. Yay, we fixed it. Hand detection is gone. However, there's a new issue. Every time you power off the camera, you lose your audio settings. Thanks, Fuji. Again, this is an issue that they need to fix with some more firmware upgrades. So where are we now? I say that the problem is so persistent with Fuji's uh, firmware upgrades, I've stopped upgrading. And so I'm gonna put up here what the firmware is where I last upgraded, so you can see what I've chosen to do. Maybe it's helpful for you too. And look, this is, this is our camera, our profession, our hobby, and we need to use our voice and communicate to Fuji what we need from them and put some pressure on them, make them act and react. Oh, but maybe they're busy swimming in all those X106 dollars. You're a beautiful person and a good person. And if no one has told you that today, let me be the first one to tell you that. All right, back to the review. So here's the thing. Fuji, I think overall does better than any manufacturer in including beneficial upgrades in firmware upgrades. So I, I trust them overall. But this camera that I staked my entire freelance career on and I moved from Canon to Fuji, this camera they've kind of messed up on and it's been hurtful. And so, you know, I start to look out like, should I go with Sony? Should I go back to Canon? I still have an RF 35 lens in my closet. Should I just, you know, get an R8 and 
uh, hunker down. I mean, I am a fan of the APS-C system, which I didn't actually think when I was shooting Canon, but now that I have shot with uh, Fuji for so long, maybe I'll go back to Canon and have reliable autofocus on an APS-C system. Maybe that's what I should do. Anyways, overall, Fuji's done a good job across all their camera models, the X-H2S. Uh, not so good, it's problematic. Do better, Fuji, do better. All right, so where do we land on this? Some users have actually downgraded their firmware and so that they're sticking to like 1.03, for example, so that they don't get the auto perform, the autofocus um, bugs, but then you lose the new features. And so you're stuck in this place like, do I downgrade so my autofocus works or do I upgrade, lose the autofocus performance, but I get the extra features. That's really up for you to decide. It's a shame that Fujifilm has released a uh, firmware upgrade that actually made the autofocus performance go down. In my opinion, that's the reason I bought this camera. And honestly, that is almost a deal breaker. I'm looking at Sony and actually there's a bigger problem. I put this fun leader lens on here and it got stuck. So I have to send it back to Fuji and that sucks. If you like this video, watch it again. No, I'm just kidding. Click like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Leave a comment. Let me know how you're feeling. How's your day? Car. Got it? Car. 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 Oh, shh. I didn't even know that was possible.